Hello and welcome to the Sport Report. A week of mixed results this week in MCS soccer. A grade had a 2-1 loss against St Paul's with the team unfortunately failing to win the 50-50 possessions. Both Christian Manali and Connor Sheen were the men of match in that game. B grade and Year 10 both drew with both teams unlucky not to come away with the win. The Year 9 team lost 2-0 and the 8Bs were very unfortunate to concede a goal late making the game a 1-0 loss. They chased the game and were the better side in the second half. Michael Cho and Dante Teresi, men of the match in that game. Both the Year 7 and 8 A's won their matches. The 8's did well against one of the top four oppositions, with them doing very well to close out the game and hold on for the win. Josh Anjul and Patrick Valance coming out as men of the match there. The 7 A's played a scrappy game, but did the job to come away with the three points. Finally, the Year 7 B's played a game of two halves, with the Mara spirit alive and well, as the team fought back from a very slow start to dominate the second half. Even though they lost 3-2, Miss Davis, their coach, said all 15 players deserve men of the match. Now in rugby league this week, where two-thirds of our teams actually came away with a win. The under-14s won 24-8 against Trinity Auburn with discipline, strong defence and willpower, the key ingredients to their victory. Billy Dimmick was the man of the match, with Iggy Kettles trying in the last minute, sealing the win. Let's see some footage from Marsfield. <laughs> So I keep big bills up in my heart on the dirty like blood so ain't got no twist in my head, but I'm still dreadful and I got plenty of bread, so I go to bed for a lot in it to win it to win it. I'm all in. I might call you my cousin, young blood, but we ain't kidding. Oh, you think of jumping, man, you best think again. The dirty, I'm the type of man that might go broke for revenge. Had some not so nice friends, kick the door off the hinge, take the door off your bench, pop up my four of your friends, man. For MCE TV, I'm here with Oliver Burke, the fullback for the under 15s MCE team. Now, Burke, what, what did you think of the game, mate? Oh, it was really tough. Uh, there was a few good hits put on. Uh, the boys did well to hold them, hold them off for the last few minutes. Great try by Alex Chidwari at the end. Uh, he had a good game. All right, so what do you, what do you think the boys can uh, you know get out of this game, mate? Oh, just the toughness that they brought to the team. We stuck together and just kept strong in the end. Now, going into the semis, how does your team look? Uh, we're looking pretty good at the moment. We've come up with a few good teams. I think we've only had one or two losses, so that's pretty good for the team. And who, who, would, who would you say the men of the match is? What's the highlight of the game? I'd say Said Riz taking those big hits and uh, getting back up. Right, cheers. All right, that's all we've got time for, boys. A grade this week had a 28-10 loss against some Pats Dundas. We're here with Ted Jones, fullback. How'd it go, mate? Um, we made a lot of first half mistakes. We dropped the ball a lot of times. A lot of fundamental errors, which we should have, we shouldn't have happened, but. In the second half, we made a comeback, we stayed true, everybody played hard, we put in a lot of effort, more effort than a one-armed bricklayer in Baghdad, but really we couldn't capitalise on the on the errors that they forced on, onto us and we just couldn't hold it. No, I have to. You don't have to. That's it for this week, make sure you check out MCE TV's Market Day footage on the mile. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Ooh.